Good morning. Today it is story time again and we're gonna learn, we'll read a book called America, My New Home. So which country are we gonna be learning about? That's right, America. Okay, we're gonna learn it through this book called America, My New Home. And it's a poem by Monica Gunning and it's illustrated by Ken Condon. Okay, so anyone know what this is a picture of? Yes, that is the Statue of Liberty, okay? America, my new home. A new country far from my Jamaica sea foam. Waves of people, new sights, bright lights. America, my new home. The Statue of Liberty, standing with her torch up high. The lady welcomes me to step on freedom's soil and live my dreams. Skyscrapers, sky-high climbers brace against winter's cold in dab gray coats until their lights go on at night. Millions of sparkling eyes, these giants outdazzle even the stars. So skyscrapers are really, really, really big and tall buildings. And you see a lot of them in a lot of cities in America. Wide awake city. When night shadows sneak about, one by one, village lights flicker out. Only sparkling stars stay shiny bright, or the moon casts a pale flood light. In the country dark, my village sleeps. My new city electrifies the night. Skyscraper windows glimmer silvery white. Neon lights blink, hello, goodbye. Traffic, a glowing serpentine, winds in a city wide awake all night. The subway. So the subway is the train that they use in some cities in America. It's underground. So in my village, they dig underground, build a water tank, find a limestone quarry, or bury those passed on. Here in the city, they dig underground, lay subway lines, crisscrossing spider webs, where speeding trains carry millions to work or play at all night, all day. So lots and lots of people use the subway to go to work or to go to eat, okay? Washington, D.C. So Washington, D.C. is a city in America. My dream to live the history of my new country takes flight in April when cherry blossoms and fragrant dress capture more eyes than the monuments raised for posterity. The White House glistens in its all brightness. The Washington Monument, which is this, stands at attention, saluting all who pass by. At the Lincoln Memorial, I hear Marian Anderson sing, My country tis of thee. I see thousands gather to hear Martin Luther King say, I have a dream, and my own dream comes true. my first symphony concert. So sometimes they have concerts on the park or on different places. Under summer stars, the symphony orchestra performs an evening of Beethoven. The music surrounds me, a sea of haunting melodies. The violins, cellos, and piano spill over me in waves of wonder. I leave humming Beethoven's for Elise instead of a reggae tune I know so well. I thought steel drums were the best till I heard a hundred instruments blend in harmony under the conductor's baton. The park. There are lots of parks there. Midst the bustle of the city and a canopy of concrete and steel, I yield when the park beckons, bidding me rest a while in the breeze of shade trees, ride a bike, Round the lake, stroll the grounds like the green pasture. I roamed at home or just sit and talk with friends in the park. Change of clothes. At the edge of the ocean, sea breezes filtered through my flimsy muslin, muslin dress. I felt buoyed up, my wish to glide like a butterfly. Now in America, wrapped in winter's warm woolens, Muffled with scarf and mittens, nose almost frostbitter, frostbitten. My wish to hibernate like a cuddly bear. It gets very cold there. First snow. 
Outside my window, powdery flakes fall, fall, wrapping the ground in soft cotton sheets, dressing bare trees and frozen lace they never wore at home. This winter miracle lures me outside a timid fawn where my new boots sink, leaving bold footprints in my first snow. My America. From a small fishing village on days without a catch to sell, my dream beyond Pa's canoe lifted me in waves of longing. I heard about a land where hope glows, a beckon guiding ocean deep dreamers from storm surfs to shore. I sailed to this promise landed in my chosen bay, found shells to open, hopes to fill in America, my new home. The end. Thank you for listening. <laughs>